You know, if you need new hubcaps, just dig a hole. Of course, what's important is where you dig it. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I think I got a couple to match. Appreciate it. Uh, you know, somebody left a big load of steel drain pipes up by the main road there, probably Department of Highways or whatever. And they're just lying there, you know, just a flimsy little chain locked around them there, you know. <laughs> a shame to see them just, just sitting there, you know. And they're heavy, but if you get them up onto your shoulder, you know, you can actually, uh, you can actually carry them. I only took a couple of dozen, but uh, Mike and Dalton pretty much cleaned the place right out. And, Oh, uh, hey, Dalton, how's the neck? Oh, it's pretty sore, you know, a little stiff. Yeah. A little stiff. I didn't realize you were left-handed. Yeah. 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 Oh, boy, that is sore. You know, I had to sleep on the floor last night. and Marie wasn't even home. Wow. <laughs> boy, I tell you, though, that little Mike's going to be hurting oh, today, boy. huh? Oh, boy. <laughs> I bet he's curled up like a strip of bacon. <laughs> oh, oh. Hey, guys, what's up? Double lynching? <laughs> Jeez, Mike. How come you're not all bent out of shape? Oh, because I take good care of myself. You know that Possum Lake has a new chiropractor, and I was her first customer. Her? Oh, yeah. Oh, my, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should go down and see her. She did things to my body that are barely legal. Wow. <laughs> it's the word barely that scares me. <laughs> I said I'd find her some new customers. You guys in or out? Oh, no, I I'm out. I'm out. My back is, so I'm in. Good man, let's go. Hey, it's not too late to change your mind, Mr. Green. No, no, you guys go ahead. I'm fine. Yeah, you look fine. Uh, My movies are red. Oh, yeah, I got them right here. <clears throat> Boy, if that works, I wasted a fortune on a VCR. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you think Anne Marie's gonna notice I didn't get any movies that she wanted? Well, what movies did she ask for? Well, she asked for Steel Magnolias and Beaches. And what movies did you get? Scarface and The Terminator. <laughs> I would think when Al Pacino fires up the chainsaw, she might twig onto it. Well, you guys are gonna have to help me here. Well, you could tell her that the video store was all out. It's possible. There's a lot of other women in the area, eh? Yeah, well, wh what if she phones the video store and finds that all 30 copies of both movies are still there? She can't phone the video store. Why not? Because on your way into the house, you're gonna cut the phone line. <laughs> and the cable. You cut the cable, and you walk in with the night's only entertainment right in your hand. <laughs> That's big points, buddy. Big That's points foolproof. There. That's foolproof. <laughs> uh, it, it's fool something. <laughs> All right, see you guys. Yeah. Thanks for the tip. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's a dead man. Yeah, yeah, dead man with no phone or cable. See you there. Sit down. Sit down. Wow, <laughs> this is a surprise. Well, yeah, you know, uh, Harold, life is full of surprises. Actually, you'll find that out very, very soon. <laughs> I gotta go. You got training at my workstation? Um, my, like, my chair! Did you touch my chair? Well, I mean, Harold, I, I, I may have. Sorry. Sorry? Yeah. Sorry. You completely lost the settings of my ergonomically correct workstation. Sorry. <laughs> Relax, it's a swivel chair for crying out loud. Well, I... Make it easy. I know. Yes, you're right. I'm under a lot of pressure lately. This account I'm working on, 
Well, no, Harold, that, that, that can wait a little while, all right? All right, <laughs> give me about a 10 minute head start. That'd be great. Well, hold it a sec. Mm -hmm. I want to show you what I got to work with. I got 20 years of their files in here, and I'm almost done. <laughs> Boy, if I lost this, I do not know what I would do. I'll just, just hold on. I want to show you, because it's neat. Where'd it go? It's a parking lot. <laughs> Uncle Red. You ever heard this before? No, I don't know. No. Never heard it before. <laughs> no. It's too bad. It's my screensaver. It comes on every time I leave my computer on. <laughs> ah, I got you. <laughs> you knew all along, didn't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got you, babe. <laughs> you, joke, like... you know, I really try to stay away from current trends and fads, and I have done ever since I wore that Nehru jacket to my grade eight dance. But you gotta give in once in a while, or people will think you're behind the times, you know. Like right now, my wife Bernice, she wants one of those automatic bread making machines. I'm saying, hey. Let's see if this handyman can make our own. Huh? Maybe make it out of something we already have, something we only use once a week, like maybe an automatic washing machine. <laughs> it's watertight. It has time cycles. It's even got an agitator, so like most of us, it needs the dough. <laughs> I'll, I'll recycle anything. OK, what you have to do, too, is you've got to change some of the wording on the control panel, like where it says heavy duty. That'll be whole wheat. Delicate, uh, switch that to pastry, and regular, leave that as regular, I guess. And then uh, over here, where you got uh, size of load, you want to change that D to an F, and it's size of load. Okay? And you can add, you know, different ingredients in here, so you get all your specialty breads. Like, you could put uh, malt in there, give you a malt bread, a couple of shots of rye, you got rye bread. <laughs> hey, it's a washing machine, throw some shorts in there, you got shortbread. <laughs> That's about it, except, except for the heat. You're gonna need some kind of a source of heat on that, so uh, I would suggest you take the heating element out of uh, an extra toaster, you know? If you got no extra toasters lying around your house, get married. <laughs> the element should pop right out of this. Make bread. socks through there. <laughs> so remember, if the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. Who wants a sandwich? Halt, who goes there? What's the password, mister? That's me, Gord. Oh, Red Green. Please, come in. Have a seat. I'll be with you in a minute. I could come back. Won't take long. Right. What you looking at, Gord? Results of some psychological tests? No, Red. This is a sign that I've been working on. I wouldn't mind if you proofread it for me. 
Well, if, you, if you're going for stop, you're right on the money. Perfect. You putting traffic signs in the woods, Court? That's right, Red. I've been watching the animals out there, and it's chaos. They can never decide who has the right of way. It usually goes by size, but that's just not fair. Uh, I think maybe that's what Mother Nature intended. Sure. Now, that's what Mother Nature intended, all right. But she's out of her mind. Gord, you, I think maybe it's time for you to be with people for a little while. No. No, Red, my job is too important here. It's up to me to make sure that all the animals of the forest obey the traffic laws of this great country of ours. I thought your job was to watch for forest fires. Holy cow, that's right. You know, I, I, I should probably go. I'm double parked. You know what pigeons are like. Holy Hannah, head-on collision, Red. Two bucks coming toward each other and bang, head on. The bigger one was in the wrong lane. It was clearly marked, mister. Red, I have a big favor to ask of you. Gord, you know I'm happily married, eh? No, 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 no. No, Red, I'd like you, if you would, to put this traffic ticket on his antler on your way down. No problem. No Thanks, problem. Red. Okay. Got all those steel pipes installed to drain the parking lot. Not that we get that much rain, we get a fair amount of runoff from the lodge vehicles. <laughs> and and from the members themselves, actually. <laughs> and, oh, I really, I really wrecked my back because I had to do the whole thing myself. And Mike's the only one who can stand up straight, and he was busy taking Dalton to the chiropractor. Hey Red, I think I'm feeling better. Oh. Yeah, I'm feeling better. <laughs> you seem pretty chipper. I am chipper. It's very annoying. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, Red, you're going to have to try this chiropractic thing because Angela is the best. Angela? Not Dr. Angela? Not to me, no, sir. Now that she knows me oh so well, <laughs> Red, it is fantastic. Was alcohol involved in this miracle at all? No, sir. Just the healing hands of the most beautiful, statuesque redhead you've ever laid eyes or anything else on. You, know, you go in there, she's got the lights turned down nice and low, soft music playing, and then red, she cracks your bones. <laughs> no kidding. Oh, yeah. She pours oil all over you and then starts massaging your muscles. Wow, and what, what are you wearing when all this is going on? A really big smile. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, hey, now, there's nothing wrong with this, so this is medical treatment. I mean, look at me, huh? Stop, 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 stop. What? I'm doing that. Come on, we gotta get you down there and get you fixed up. I'll take you down there and make sure everything goes okay, all right? Well, I, I guess I can give it a try. Huh? Here we go. Yeah, easy. We'll go around by way of the church. Why would we do that? That's where you can ring the bell. <laughs> Your neck, if I could get a hold of it. <laughs> slow down, slow down. Waiting for uh, Dalton to show up, and Winston just fooling around with his hammer there. No, Winston, no. Oh. So, anyway, Dalton uh, come in with the lumber, and uh, oh, a nice truck he's got there. And, but in the truck, too, he also had. Oh, don't worry about that hammer. Sorry, sorry, sorry. He also had a barbecue to kind of. Uh, we're, what we're going to try and make is uh, one of those uh, play things for kids to come up to the lodge, something for them to swing on and everything. And so I took the first load. And I, th I figured the guys be the guys be right uh, right behind me with the rest of the uh, rest of the, where the oh. get over here. Leave a lot of come on, you guys. We worked it out here. So anyway, we uh, we bought all the lumber. It was laid out. You know, they've got these great kits now where they tell you exactly what to buy. So many pieces of this and pieces of that. Grab that one. Get out there, Winston. Get Boy, that, and that's, uh, that's young Walter. He's new up the lodge. And look at him pitching in, pitching in. He just does everything he can to help people. There you go. And, uh, so we got out the instrument. Now, the, what, there's, a, there's a sinkhole there. Walter, sinkhole, sinkhole there. Easy, easy there, easy. Anyway, get him up, get him up, get him up. Now, you got to be careful where you step uh, at the lodge because we've been here a while. And uh, we got the instructions. I don't know who writes these. How do you? Maybe, uh, gosh, um, hmm. Um, no, I got a better idea. Yeah. All right, so we all get busy, and uh, Wal Walter, you're, Walter, you're standing in the, Walter, you're standing in the sink, Walter. Do you not notice? 
knows that, Walter. It's, he just knows the world. Now, here's something for you young kids. You be careful this, you young kids. That can happen. So anyway, so we got her all built, and you know, it just didn't look like anything the kids would have any kind of fun on to me. It's just, I mean, I guess it's sort of right. No, I got, oh, this, is where, this is where it dawned on me. I know what we're doing, Mom. I go, young Walter still measuring that board. Come on out of there, Walter. Come on out. No, we're not putting it in the basement. Now, come on. Now, if we can all just come and pitch in, this is where it's good to have friends. You just want to pitch in, everybody grab a corner. Pick her up. Pick her up, guys. We're going to take her over there. We're going to take her walk over. Set her down. Set her down. Flip her up. Flip her up. Oh, man, I got the heavy end. Come on. Set her down. Set her down. Drop right down, right, right over there. Right, careful, don't stay in there long, Walter, because you know why, don't you? You know where we're setting it, huh? You know where we're setting it. Right on the old, well, you know, you know. Don't get ahead of me. We're setting her right down on the old sinkhole and let, let, you know what, this is what you gotta do. Just let the, let the environment work with you. Don't fight it, don't fight it. Look at here, guys, one, give her a clunk at the bottom there and watch what happens. And there we go. There's our swing set. elected. He was the most popular mayor Possum Lake had ever had. He promised to put the town on the map and decrease the unemployment rate. Instead, he put the town in the red and increased the illegitimacy rate. <laughs> he was Honest John Jonathan. He walked into Possum Lake one day looking to buy a car. He asked us where the local Rolls Royce dealership was. <laughs> He just couldn't believe that a town with this kind of vibrant energy and cosmopolitan flair wouldn't catch the eye of the Rolls-Royce people. In hindsight, that should have been a tip-off. Oh, he was a charmer, I'll grant you that. He asked me to help him with Possum Lake's bid for the 1986 Winter Olympics. I didn't know how much help I could be. It had been years since my last gold medal in pickling. When I asked, how our bid could stand a chance. He flat out told me he was going to bribe the Olympic officials. He was ahead of his time, really. John also sold time-sharing holiday properties down south, right? He would show us these pictures of these beautiful beachfront condos, and then he would explain that we could swap our places in Possum Lake with somebody who lived in one of these joints. Boy, that guy could sell, you know. He, he could have sold Gandhi a Big Mac. We bought into it, and uh, two weeks later, he shows up with his family from Florida and says that they're here to timeshare with us for a month now. So he goes out to his car, he opens the trunk, and out get five guys with bed rolls. They walk into our living room and they camp out on the floor. These people were weird, even for Florida. I recognize those guys. They didn't claim the three of them. They were just guys on the land looking for a place to hide out. I mean, would guys from Florida have no tan and scurvy? Come on. His big scam was Honest John's Pyramid Scheme. And these weren't pyramid sales. These were real pyramids. <laughs> John wanted to build pyramids, and then for 500 bucks, you could be buried like King Tut. We thought he was on the up and up because he had funding from three levels of government. Well, listen to me. Then he sold a bunch of us these municipal bonds. They were made of paper, which was good because everybody in Possum Lake has a fireplace and an outhouse. Honest John Jonathan knew he was in trouble. Nobody could ignore that many eggs smashing up against their house. <laughs> and one night, he just disappeared. Nobody knows how. Some say he drowned trying to swim across Possum Lake with 700 pounds of parking meter coins in his pants pockets. <laughs> We'd have to dredge the lake to know for sure, but we're not going to go looking for him until we miss him. I feel great, huh? I, I told you, didn't I, that oh, Angela man. is a miracle worker. I think I might go every week. Oh, <laughs> me too. <laughs> well, <laughs> prevention is a big part of healthcare, doll. Absolutely, boy, and she is good, oh, isn't she? She's very good, very, very good. 
Not often you see a professional doctor with eyes like that. Huh? Oh, and, and that red hair. Oh, and the skin. Alabaster. She's got the whole package. Whoa, whole package. Oh, oh my oh. gosh. Mr. Oh. Green. Oh, Mike, Mike, uh. watch this. Show him, Dalton. Uh. 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 <laughs> Man, that's hard to watch. <laughs> but look, you got so much energy, you better get those pipes back to where you found them, because the cops are on to us. What? What are you talking about? Who told them? You guys did. Well, no way I, I said anything. I didn't say anything. Well, who, who did you tell then? I'm going to tell anybody. No. Nobody? No. You must have talked about them pipes when you were getting treated. Angela? Angela? Well, yeah, it turns out that Angela isn't a chiropractor after all. She's a cop from Port Asbestos. She's working undercover. Angela's a cop? <laughs> Wait a minute. Port Asbestos doesn't have any women police. Yeah, well, see, here's, here's the other part. Um, oh. <laughs> it's not Angela, it's Angelo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Loosen up. I never felt better. And you know what? Angelo's gonna, he's gonna moonlight as a masseur out of his own place. You guys interested? No. Well, I sure am. <laughs> what? <laughs> Meeting time. Come on, guys. You guys go ahead. I'll be down in a minute. <laughs> if my wife is watching, and I really hope you're not. <laughs> if you are, I'll be coming straight home after the meet. I think I'm gonna have a bath tonight. <laughs> And boiling bleach. <laughs> the rest of you, sorry you watched. But, uh, until next time, on behalf of myself and Angelo, <laughs> keep your stick on the ice. Hey, take your seats, and everything. All right, hurry up, sit down. All right, I'll rise. Armando, Omni, Blancas, Blancas, sit down. <laughs> Bow your heads, join me in the men's prayer. I'm a man, but I can change if I have to, I guess, but not that much. <laughs>